here he is! Hello Tamers, Ross Merrill here and today we are going to be opening a box of BT17 Secret Crisis. This time we have two box toppers, one with the Tamers and Update Pack 2024. Once again, we'll leave to the end and let's start with our very first pack. Pack 1. We got Hippismon, one of the armor evolutions from Patamon. And our last card will be... We're starting off with a Tamer and it is Young Tai and Kari from that very first movie where they met Koromon for the first time and it evolved into Greymon to fight Parrotmon. Pack 2, we got a new second version of AG just like Leon, it's under his codename Cracker Fang. And the last card will be... This another Tamer? Well, I guess it's not super surprising since this set has a lot of Tamers in its card count. And it's the defensive Movie Masaru. Pack 3, a very villainous pack with Mephistomon and two stages of Argomon. I gotta say though, I absolutely love the art style of the new Argomon line by Koki. And the last card will be another Tamer, Koji Minamoto. Pack 4, we got Clock of the End, Diaboromon's new alternate win condition, as well as Grand Locomon. I love this guy's design and the concept of train, so I'm pretty interested in testing him out in a Parasite machine build. And the last card will be... Okay, got a bit uh, thrown off guard there, but that is just a rare. It is the new Fenrir Lugamon, designed to help bring out Take Mikazuchi. Pack 5 with the new blue-yellow Lobomon to feature its light element. And the last card will be... There we go, our very first SR in the set, and how fitting. One of the flagship Digimon for this set, the iconic Omnimon Ace. Now I really hope I pull Diaboromon as well. Pack 6, nice to see Flamemon and Strabimon together. Let's take a closer look because the two of them have been given a really nice cute art style in this set. By artist Iori Sunakura. Not to mention Rhythm from the Savers movie. And our last card will be... Nice! I think one of the most awesome things about the DCG is that some of the rares seriously make you feel like you've just pulled a super rare or maybe even something greater. And this Parasitemon card is an especially great example, the way all of its tentacles are swarming out of the border almost like it's reaching out to infect you. And I never liked the art of his first card in EX2, so this is a really nice touch. Pack 7, just like Lobomon, Agunimon has gone dual color with red and purple, which I guess makes sense with the deck's uh, trash interaction. And the last card will be... There we go, a tamer, Leon Alexander. Pack 8, nice to see Darkmon next to Murmuxmon and the new level 5 Eosmon that you can't play 50 copies of in your deck. And the last card will be... Nope, not a super rare. Just another rare that makes you feel like you pulled a super rare, Shine Greymon. I think this might be my favorite Shine Greymon artwork in the game, wish he was on one of the super rares instead. Pack 9, there's our new Minoa, looking all menacing with that blank-eyed, cold, emotionless stare. Last card is going to be another tamer. This time it's the Professor dude from Digimon Seekers, Professor Tomonori Ryusenji. Support for Dex. Pack 10 gives us the new Dex Doru Greymon. The new Dex Doru line brings Defex evolution to the next level. When their non-Dex variants will be deleted, they can Dexvolve from the trash to prevent the deletion. And our last card will be... There we go, our second SR, and this time it's a movie villain, the level 6 Argomon. Somehow, Koki's cute and rounded art style goes so well with Argomon's monstrous, alien kind of design to create what I believe is one of the best looking cards in the entire game and this applies to the entire new Argomon line. It's really exquisite to look at. Pack 11, Minami from the Tamers movie brings support to blue low level jamming shenanigans. And our last card is... Gabumon. Pack 12, last of the first half, nice to finally see Trailmon in the card game as support for machine trains. And our last card for the first half will be another super rare. This time it's the new Ancient Greymon with the Digicross condition. Unfortunately though, for the two Ancients this set, their alt artworks are so good that I honestly can't really feel too hyped about pulling the regular art versions. But we can look forward to our alts in the second half. Let's begin. Pack 13 and the new Galensmon. Not the best looking art to me, but I love the effect of Crimson Mode silhouettes in the back. Pack 14, and the new War Greymon. Pack 15 is a double spirit evolution pack, and an Agumon. 
probably one of the most adorable Agumon arts to date. Love the fruits. Pack 16, our flame and strawby always destined to come as a set. And the movie, Ty and Matt. Pack 17. And there we go, Golfmon. Bandai's way of kinda giving Apokalimon new support. Pack 18. And there we go, the rare Diaborobon. He is just a rare, but I'm definitely gonna put him up there next to Om. Pack 19. And there we go, our fourth SR. And another level 7 ace from a movie in this box. The new Gallonmon Crimson Mode Ace. And I absolutely love this guy because not only is he an upgrade over the original Crimson Mode, I also loved his new artwork way more than the first. Pack 20. And Morphomon. Very cute. Pack 21. And Takato. Pack 22. And Oh, here he is! It looks like this time we are not getting an alt, but a regular artwork secret. And as somebody who really enjoyed the original Digimon Adventure series and the movies when I was very young, this is an absolutely perfect pull for me. The level 4 Movie Greymon. And the fact that it gains the names of all of its level 3 or lower evolution cards is such a throwback because back then, Tai and Kari were so young they could only call him Koromon. Pack 23 and Sakuyamon. But again, this is a rare. With such amazing artwork, it makes you feel like you pulled something better. And now it's time for our final 24th pack of Secret Crisis. Here we go. Gonna open it up on camera. Alright. Okay. So first up, we've got another Pipismon, Trailmon, Wargrowlmon, Talmon, and our final card of this box of BT17 Secret Crisis is going to be... Wait a minute, was there another one? Oh, and yeah, there was another one, and it's Metal Garurumon. Now time to check our box toppers. Shall we start with the Tamer one, less exciting? And the box topper Tamer that we are going to get will be Manoa. Okay, I gotta say I'm honestly not the biggest fan of the box topper Tamer alts, which aren't really alts at all, but this background is pretty sick. And for the update pack, we are going to get the new Mami Tiramon, who is treated as having both Mamemon and Tyrannomon in his names, which is an awesome treat for me because I'm a big fan of both Rook decks. Okay, so that'll be all for my booster box opening of BT17. Nothing too amazing, but overall, I'm pretty happy with my pulls. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, do give it a like. Let me know what you guys think about these new cards in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more booster box and product openings on the day of release for the Digimon card game. With that, hope to see you guys in the next Digimon video.